actually don't know anything about my day tonight and it's kind of freaking me out. We're supposed to go get food, but plan could change. She was wearing a dress, a lot of bling. As I got to my building, we kissed. My name is Daniel and I'm 27. My name is Sarah and I am 28 years old. I run a startup based in San Francisco and in New York. I am an assistant for an investment bank. My family is originally from Iran, uh, but I was born in Paris and moved to New York when I was one, uh, but grew up here in New York. I moved to New York City two and a half years ago because I wanted to follow my dreams. I actually don't go, go on dates very often. Once every four to six weeks. I've been single since 2015. One and a half year now. I've not made it a priority to not be single. Well, maybe my expectations are too high. Also I haven't found the right person. I actually don't know anything about my date tonight and it's kind of freaking me out. Really, I have no information. I just showed up here. Your name is Sarah. That's my mom's name. Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Middle Eastern looking or Italian looking, we can say. Someone who's confident, or someone who would give me feedback. Tall, because I'm kind of tall, and I like my heels. I mean, if she's pretty, I mean, that's, that's also pretty good, too. Ambitious and successful. I would say my age range is between 19 and 28. Over 35, but younger than my parents. I don't think I would be willing to compromise on type and age. I would consider dating somebody younger. We can never say never though. We've got the president of France. His wife's like 20 years older. I'm wearing chinos and a shirt with flowers on them that I bought two hours ago for this date. I chose this because, you know, it's my new dress. It makes me feel good. I was at the gym, so I'm still wearing my running shoes. I didn't plan the date tonight, so hopefully he did. We're supposed to go get food, but the plan could change. I'm also doing intermittent fasting, and like, so I only have like an hour left to eat. I'm Al Clooney. I look like I'm Al Clooney, apparently. Um, she looks like me. George Clooney, of course. That's what my mom says. <laughs> Jessica Biel, Justin Timberlake's wife. Josh Duhamel. I actually, I actually speak, speak four, four languages. languages. I speak English, Farsi, French, and Spanish, and English was my third language. I speak Italian, French, English, and Spanish. I wish I spoke Italian, and that's next. I had a few long-term relationships, a few flings. I have had two boyfriends in the past. My longest relationship was three and a half years? Three years. Probably a nice girl, but maybe too much. That I'm extremely corny, that I spend too much time with my family, but at the end of the day, that I'm a good person with good intentions. I think too much is not enough, personally, but... I've said I, I, love, you said I love you twice. twice. First person, I was young, so I don't really know. But the second person, I'm pretty damn sure. Yes, I did love them. No. I have never cheated. I don't, I don't think so. so. No. I have. Yeah, everybody gets the occasional ghost, even George Clooney. I don't think so, no. The hair flip. Is that a thing? Like, people are like, oh, yeah, let me pull out my go-to move. Like, does that really work? Is that a fair answer? Probably their eyes. I like a beard. Definitely eyes, 100%. My hair, my lips, my legs. All right, that's it. I would say my height, 6'2". I would say that. I was not. I was the captain of the basketball team. Mountains. Beach. Time. Time. Morning. Night owl. I don't know who's who, but the billionaire. Props to her. She made it. Neither. What's lace? I have no idea what lace is. Leather. Lace. No, the fact is lace. <laughs> iPhone. iPhone. No, I guess, no, no, no moist, no moist. Chocolate. Both. An omelet, stuff inside. Scrambled. Wish me luck, guys. Very first impression was she looked beautiful and uh, she wore a nice dress and uh, she had a nice smile. My first impression was he looks like a really nerdy, cute guy. Not usually my type, but he was really nice. She was wearing a, a dress, high heels, a small bag, earrings, three bracelets, four rings, and uh, six bedazzled nails. 
floral shirt and jeans. Yeah, we, we got to the restaurant. We were a few minutes late to our, for our reservation, but we got a nice table, sat next to each other. We started taking a look at the menu, but we finally decided that he was going to do all the ordering, which I was all for. As she started looking over the menu, I told her to hold off and I'll take care of it, even though I had no idea what was on the menu. I winged it. She said she doesn't drink alcohol, so, which uh, was fine. In the middle of our date, um, some random girl started talking to us, asking if it was our first date. And I look over and I notice this woman is looking dead at me. And she just yells, first date? <laughs> We're like, yeah, 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 first date. She's like, I could tell, I could tell. And then she starts complimenting Sarah. She's like, you're hot, you're so gorgeous. You're so engaged in the conversation. You brought it tonight, girl, you brought it. And then she looks over to me and says, you, you're good looking too, you know, but uh, you gotta step it up tonight. He told him to step it up, that um, a girl that looks like me probably has a lot of offer in the city so that he has to deliver, even though it's a first date. I found that hilarious. I would say about three hours, maybe four. Two hours, two and a half hours long. I was physically attracted to Daniel as the date went on. As the date went on, I became more physically attracted to her? I mean, Amal Clooney, come on. Daniel paid for the date. You already know? $230, uh, but Glamour's gonna pay for it, right? We got water and lemon, and it was $230. Like, imagine we got drinks. <laughs> right off the bat, he asked me about my imperfections and what I thought uh, was least attractive about me. I was stunned, but it's a pretty good question, I think. No, she didn't ask me any uncomfortable questions. I don't think she did. Definitely when the girl sitting next to us started giving him advice. <laughs> that woman, that woman, she keeps coming back. You know, she made it awkward for a split second for me. I had to adapt and react in the moment. It was funny, but it's definitely a little awkward. Yes. <laughs> Daniel actually said that he only owns 150 things as he is embracing a more minimalistic lifestyle. And I told him I am at maybe 3,000. Yeah, she has a lot of stuff. And we definitely have different perspectives on stuff. So she really wanted some tiramisu, but they only had a giant tiramisu cake. Luckily, there was a gelato shop that was still open and it saved the day. At the end of our date, he called me a car, but he insisted to come drop me off, even though he doesn't live anywhere near where I live, but I thought it was really sweet. I mean, we pulled up to outside her place. I realized I didn't have her number, or I guess she realized that, so we exchanged phone numbers. As I got to my building, we kissed, and we exchanged numbers because we did not have each other's numbers, and I just left. Yes, there was a kiss. So our first kiss was right in front of the gelato shop. It was a great kiss. I even told him how impressed I was. He's a pretty good kisser. What do you want to know? I usually kiss and tell. You already know. Daniel initiated the kisses. Again, I don't kiss and tell. I think my favorite part of the day was just walking in the city without a plan. Sometimes it's good to get lost, you know, not, not have to set, go by a schedule. The fact that he actually held my hand when we were walking around. I was holding her hand so uh, she doesn't fall into the uh, you know, the street grids, you, know, you put your heel in it, you get stuck. So we were, it was fun to kind of navigate the New York City streets. I can't even remember when the last time is that a guy held my hand in public. Three, two, three weeks ago? No, last month, last month. End of June, early July. Kind of He's broken French. We had a bit of a conversation in French and he had the most adorable and sexiest accent. I would say her accent couldn't really pinpoint where it was from. 100% she laughed more. She laughed after practically everything I said. I think when I pressed the button for the elevator when we, to go downstairs, she laughed. But I laughed too, don't get me wrong, but she just laughed more. 70-30, I would say. But then after the woman told me to step it up, I laughed a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely laughed more because Daniel is really funny. I would say when she said my name, when she said my name, she said my name maybe like three-fourths of the date in, the way she said my name was Definitely attractive. It's kind of a strange answer, but I don't know, like the, the way she said it. I was attracted to the fact that he was a real gentleman. I was least attracted to his shoes. <laughs> so 
I don't really like talking about negative stuff, so I'm not going to say, but overall, good day. She's in your shoes. I knew it. Of course, my shoes. But these shoes got me a kiss, so would you look at that? I hope that doesn't make the cut. She flipped her hair a lot, so she kind of you know, did a little, little of this, you know, a little hair flip. Hello, I'm Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. I think my family would love Daniel. Wholeheartedly, I don't think so. Uh, with me in the equation, without me in the equation, yeah, she's a good person. Not to say that they wouldn't like her, but like they might feel the same way I do. So my parents support how I feel. So if I told them the same things that were red flags for me, they think they're red flags too. So I don't think I'm the best long-term fit for her. So out of respect for her, I think it would make sense if we just stayed friends. I texted Daniel goodnight last night and thanking him for everything and he texted back saying that it was a pleasure and goodnight. He called me queen. Just a short little hope you made it home safe and I responded sleep well. I was gonna say sweet dreams but she doesn't dream so I just said sleep well. I'm very glad I went on this date. Yeah definitely. I mean I learned I learned more about myself. I had a good time. I made someone else feel good and Hope she had a good time too. On a scale of one to five, with five being the highest, how was the conversation? Five. Four point five. It was good. How much did you have in common? Four. Four point five. Rate your physical attraction. Three. Five. How compatible do you think you are? Three. Short term five. Four. How much did you enjoy the date? Four point five. Five. How likely will you go on a second? Five. Five. I would go on a second date with Daniel. I think the part of me that wants to go on a second date is, you know, just, we, I had a, great, had a great time. Meeting people that you could have a good time with, who you're compatible with, is, is, is not common. But because of some things that aren't going to work long term, uh, I wouldn't want to start something that's ultimately going to lead us to being disappointed. Although we did have many things in common, there were just certain, certain things that I, I don't think we'll be able to modify about one another. I wouldn't want somebody to change exactly for me uh, on day one uh, in terms of their core values. And also for me, I'm not gonna change as well on certain things. So that's why I wouldn't work long term, but in a different life, maybe it would. I, I could be friends with them. It's not like I'm not gonna be like I'm friends. Like, hey, like, you know, if she says, hey, you wanna hang out, I'll hang out. Daniel, when you see this, I want you to know que j'ai passé une superbe soirée et j'ai hâte de te revoir. Sarah, when you, when you see this, I want you to know that you're amazing. You're, you, you know exactly what you want, what you're up to, and have your head on your shoulders. You're confident. You're beautiful. And I had a great time and hope you did too. Enjoyed our conversation and uh, the time that we spent together. And if you ever want to hang out again, you just let me know. My advice to other women that will go on dates with Daniel is uh, don't be scared because he's gonna ask you the uncomfortable question. Just be honest and transparent and you'll have a great time. Be curious. Be curious about what she, what she enjoys and just be yourself. You got this. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs>